I seen in this dream was that I witnessed a young black girl approach this person who was still in a headlock. The girl who approached this boy held a razor in her hand. Then I woke up from this dream. The next letter in this section is the letter C. This is section four, letter C. There are four dreams in this piece that begins with the letter C. There are two dreams about the Brooklyn clock tower. There's one dream about a comet, and there's one dream about cards. The first number in this piece is the number one. This piece is called section four, one clock tower dream, or S41 CLD. And the month of April 8, 2009, I recorded this dream in my dream book. Today I dreamt about the clock tower again. The first thing I noticed about this dream was that I found myself walking among Asian people. And the Asian people and I walked across the street from the Brooklyn clock tower. It was daytime. Then the next thing that happened in this dream was that I seen the same black woman who resembled my mother in another dream I dreamt about in Paris, Future Prophecy Part 1. And in Paris, Future Prophecy Part 1, I also ran into this woman who stood around the clock tower. This person who resembled my mother held in her hand a long key plaque which featured the Brooklyn's clock tower. Then I noticed I also held a key plaque in my hand. And this key plaque I held in my hand featured the Empire State Building. Next I asked this woman, can we exchange key plaques? She said yes. Then we quietly exchanged key plaques. Then I woke up and I had a drawing of this particular dream. Uh, this is the key plaque that I see that represent Brooklyn clock tower. The next number in this piece is the number two. This piece is called section 42 clock tower dream or S42 CLV. In the month of April 22nd, 2009, I recorded this dream in my dream book. I dreamt about the Brooklyn clock tower again. This time I seen white stuff or fog like white mist around the clock tower. The white stuff upon the clock tower also resembles snowflakes. It was nighttime. Next I seen a bright ball of light which emanated a star-like pattern on the upper left side of the tower. Next I seen people inside the clock tower's lobby. The tower was dirty inside and it was also semi-dark in the lobby. It felt like to me that most people who live inside this building abandoned this building for some reason. Then the last thing I seen in this weird dream was dozens upon dozens of strings which appeared to be attached to the lobby ceiling. And at the end of every string was a hot or apple-shaped pouch which were brown in color. I got the impression that these suspended brown pouches contained water or some other kind of liquid, and I have a drawing of this tree. This is the Brooklyn Clock Tower, and in this dream I've seen a ball of light emanate from the upper part of the clock tower. And the last thing I've seen in this dream were strings, and at the bottom, or at the end of each stream, was a brown pouch, which I suspected contained some type of liquid inside. The next number in this piece is the number three. This piece is called Section 4, One Comic Dream, or S4, One CMD. In the month of May 4, 2009, I recorded this dream in my dream book. Today I dreamt that I seen something in the day sky, which looked like a comic. Then I noticed this particular comet, or strange object in space, had affected the Earth's atmosphere somehow because it rained down on something into the Earth's atmosphere that looked like snowflakes. And the last thing I seen in this uncanny dream was my wife, who was in my room on Holy Street. And she frantically said to me that she's going to get some water now before it's too late. Then I sensed the water system in Brooklyn was being turned off. The next and last number in this piece is the number four. This piece is called Section 4, One Car Dream, or S41 CRD. 
in the month of May 30th, 2009, I recorded this dream in my dream book. In this dream, I found myself behind a steel wheel of a car. I drove this car into some kind of alley. Then I seen drivers stand out of their cars near their driver's seat. There must have been several cars in front of me. Then I got the impression that the people's cars, which were in front of me, had stopped abruptly for no particular reason. Or the people might have to stop their cars because of what was ahead of them. The next letter in this section is the letter E. This is section four, letter E. There's one dream in this piece that begins with the letter E. There's one dream about the Empire State Building. The first number in this piece is the number one. This piece is for section four, one Empire State Building dream, or S4, one E to D. In the month of April 18, 2000, and nine, I recorded this dream in my dream book. In this dream, I was upon a roof, which were a few blocks away from the Empire State Building. It was daytime, and I sensed a great deal of fear and awe around me and around the Empire State Building. Then I recall that I felt this feeling of fear and awe before, when in the summer of 2001, I used to patrol the roof of a tall building, which were also, which was also a few blocks away from the World Trade Tower. Then I woke up from this dream. The next letter in this section is the letter F. This is section F letter, this is section four letter F. There are seven dreams in this piece that begins with the letter F. There are two dreams about food shortages, there's one dream about famine, and there are four dreams about a flood in Brooklyn, New York. The first number in this piece is the number one. This piece is called Section 4, One Food Shortage Dream, or S4, One FOD. In the month of November 9th, 2008, I recorded this dream in my dream book. In this dream, I seen a white man who was slightly chubby. This man wore a pair of shorts. It was daytime. This man stood somewhere at the end of a corner store. And this man said out loud, there's a shortage of food. There's a shortage of food. Then I observed this chubby person walk into a line of people that had just formed inside this corner store. The next number in this piece is the number two. This piece is called section four, two, Food shortage dream, or S4, 2FOD. In the month of January 7, 2009, I recorded this dream in my dream book. I dreamt I was on the ground floor of some kind of store. Some of the store shelves were empty, and some of the store shelves had bowls of candy in them. Then I noticed the store manager and other people inside this store behaved erratically. The manager wore a spring or summer manager uniform. He wore a pair of dark slacks and a blue short sleeve shirt. Next, I found myself at home inside my room, and I spotted a young black person who lives across the street from me. This person sat on a couch in my room, and he said loudly, food shortage. Then my immediate family came into my room, and my family then gazed their eyes upon this person in my room. And this person spoke again, that he said to my family, the stores are displaying empty shelves. They are displaying shortages of food. Then I heard myself tell my family, who are still in the room with me, this food shortage will cause people to eat their babies. The next number in this piece is the number three. This piece is called Section 4, One Family Dream, or S4, One F D. In the month of March 10, 2009, I recorded this dream in my dream book. I dreamt that I'd seen a black couple sit at a table. I believe I was in Brooklyn, New York. There was a raised plate in the middle of the table. As I looked closer into this bowl, I shockingly just 